In this video, we're going to look at first order differential equations, which is the first type which involves separating variables. Now, this is the same that comes up in regular A level. So we have our question here, find the general solution to the differential equation of dy by dx equals minus y over x. So what we ought to do is bring all the y terms on one side and all the x terms on the other side. So we're separating them, hence the name separating by variables. So what we're going to do is we're going to say this is one over y times dy equals the following, keep the minus sign outside. We're gonna have one over x dx. So we can integrate both sides here. So we're going to get the integration of one over y is ln mod y. The integration of one over x is ln mod x. But because we've got a minus sign there, the minus sign is retained. So plus the arbitrary constant. So now we've got to work out what C is. So we can say ln y plus ln x is equal to C. So from the laws of logs, we can say that's x times y. And that's what C is. So, but what we can do here is to work out what mod xy is by taking the antilog. And that will give me xy on its own is equal to e to the power of c. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call e to the power of c a constant, because that's what it is. So we're going to say where e to the power of c is some general constant a. So therefore, we can have the following. We can say that mod xy is equal to a. So we could write that as x times y is a. So now don't forget when you remove the modulus sign, you're going to have a plus and a minus. So I'm going to say that y is going to be plus or minus a over x. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. Okay, welcome back. So now we have the question that says, find the general solution to the differential equation, dy by dx equal to y times cot x or cotangent of x. So same as last time, we separate the y variables and separate the x variables. So I'm going to get one over y dy is equal to cot x dx. And what we want to do is to integrate both sides of the equation. So we know that the integral of one over y is ln mod y. And we know that the integration of cot is ln sine of x plus the arbitrary constant. And what we're going to do here is we're going to call the constant c ln k because it's just a general constant so everything's in terms of the natural log so we get ln sine x plus ln k now from the laws of logs we can do the following we can say ln mod y is ln k times sine x and then now what we can do is anti-log both sides we'll take exponents to both sides same thing and the e and ln cancel, so we get y, therefore y equals k times sine of x is our solution.